Hello everybody and welcome back to Colony Survival. My name is Twisted and today we are gonna be expanding our base even more. The plan for today is to actually just work on the walls. I think we have enough colonists doing various jobs such as growing stuff and mining and whatnot. Oh, it looks so lovely. We're getting so much stuff. It's awesome. It's amazing. Uh, speaking of amazing, as you might recall, we have these 10 times 10 farms. We also have the 5 times 10 farms. So I've had a lot of comments about this. Some people uh, praised me for figuring out that this is the better option. Some people weren't so happy because they are convinced that's the better option. I'm not sure. We have two sides of the story. I feel like more people commented that this is the better option. And I have to think about it a little bit, I kind of maybe agree, because the only thing the colonists are necessary for is actually harvesting the stuff. So the crops grow on their own, as you can actually see right here, just popping up naturally, even during nighttime, it looks awesome. So the only thing we're using them for is to just harvest stuff. And we don't actually lose that much time from growth when we're harvesting, I think. Because even if we have, like, two farms, they're still only harvesting at the same speed, right? We cannot have two people harvest the same farm. They're still harvesting two separate farms. I think it's better to go 10 by 10. The ideal solution would be to have like 100 times 100 or maybe like 100 times 10, something like that. So that they keep harvesting without ever stopping. But that's not a thing we can actually do right now. So we're gonna probably be moving these farms into a 10 by 10 situation. But we're gonna also move all the farms from the inside, outside. That's also the plan. Also, what else is the plan is to actually expand the tower. The zombies are dead, that's awesome. Expand the tower, make this a little bit better for us. So I did do the measurements. There we go. Gotta like go all the way up. I do want to expand the tower and I do want to expand the actual uh, walls. Let's actually get more of these things. We're doing okay with food. We, oh, you see that food is now orange, which means that's a, there was an update to the game. So if the food is orange, it means we have less than two days worth plus 50. So that's actually not good, but it's also, it's also not that bad. I don't really care about that. So the entrance is supposed to be on the top side. I kind of want to change the entrance to make it, like, in the back. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make it that's in the back. We're gonna actually have a thing here, thing here. We're gonna just remove a lot of things here. So we're gonna have these things. I also want to have some kind of staircase to a lower wall. I do want to raise the size of the towers as well. I want to do a lot of things, as you may have noticed. I have a feeling, feeling great. I do really like this game. I think this game is actually a lot, lot better than it seems at first glance. And it seems great at first glance. I think it has so much potential. Because right now, we've there's not a lot of things to do. You can just basically build and expand. But there's a ton of biomes. So, for example, we are right now just in the, in the grasslands or the forest. There's an actual winter biome. We will go check that out at one point. But I do not want to do it immediately. I think that's not a good idea. All right, so this is gonna be our like tower thing. Just like merge these guys completely. I, I wanna probably remove all the things. I cannot use any of my colonists to actually do this thing. I have to do it all manually, but that's okay. I should probably like actually not go all the way down. All right, so I wanna have the engines be up here. The staircase. Want it to be hold on. This is three. I mean, is they're connected already? You don't have to make it a tower per se, right? You know what? I don't want to make a tower. Yeah, I want to make a large gate that has two sides, not just a simple tower. Oh god, where am I? I just clear the inside out. Clear the entire inside of the tower. I'm gonna try making something more cohesive. Alrighty, so I extended the gates a little bit more. Just so we have a little bit of extra vision. I don't need this bad boy, I don't need this thing. This thing disappears, interesting, so we are oh, down one torch, that's okay. Okay, zombies are attacking again, I gotta be careful for them not to come in. Oh, did I actually go? No, okay. For a second there, I thought he actually went inside the wall somehow, but he got shot down. There's a lot of enemies, but hopefully they won't come close at all. And we have a reasonable defense system here. I think there's more of them every single day. I mean, every single night, which is not ideal, but it's to be expected. So where is the middle of this bad boy? We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we have like a thing. He no, uh, like a here, a here, and here, right? Which means this is the middle. 
if you just mark this so we know we don't need these right now again i will get them i do like these things but they're preventing my archers from shooting wherever they want so it's actually not ideal but i do have a i could put them on here but that also doesn't seem ideal i do have a solution for that we'll, we'll figure something out so we have this thing we have the gates over here gates are seven wide right so if you look at uh this we have one, two three six, uh, I guess I like this. It's hard to figure out where the blocks are sometimes. One, two, three. There you go. So just about that. That's the gate size. If, if you open this up, we're gonna be setting out the wall, right? No. Yes, because there's two layers there. Okay, good. So we cannot use those things, but I do want to make a little bit of a nicer entrance. Just hide it inside the walls is the plan. Uh, is that doable? I don't know. Maybe. We try. So I want to have entrances on both sides, something that's not just a straight circle. I want the entrance to be uh, like, it exits, exits on the inside, right? That makes sense. So this is the edge of the wall. I want, actually, I think we can do it by making this the thing, right? Yeah, this can be the thing that goes outside. I feel, let me just do this. That way it's reasonably close to the middle and it's not interrupting anyone's flow again there's a the remains of our old walls in here I didn't remove it because i had to have a way to go back up and down whatnot let's do like this actually this totally works i don't even have to have any extra things interesting this is the wall right hold on yeah do not want to break that this is gonna be a bit easier to use i think my guess so instead of the old way of, way of doing things we just do this. That's alright, I like that. I, I like it. I like it. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, right? Just for symmetry's sake. Just do uh, no, just do this. There we go. Really easy to job, God. To just make this very quickly. Just like that. Again, it's not the nicest thing. But in fact, we actually have the entrance to it over here. It's also a thing we could do. Make it go straight up. I don't know if I like that. I'm not quite sure that's the way to go. But yeah, we have a much, much bigger uh, gate now. Which is great. This is like two blocks from the side. We can actually make it in the middle. It's gonna look nicer, right? Yeah, it's gonna look nicer. Get that. And have one in the middle over here. Exactly. Looks awesome. I do like it. I do like it very, very much. We don't remove these. These are just... Or me to figure out things more easily all right so we have the gate they do look symmetrical they have four things on each side that's always good all right now i want to focus on actually making the walls not look awful it's gonna be a process i think uh, so we're gonna leave this guy where he is for now we're gonna focus on the other side the plan is to make the walls a bit higher and also make them a bit thicker so probably want to do something like I don't want to go too low, but something like this would, I think, be all right. This would be the basic wall design. Just click and hold. I can, but it doesn't actually... Oh, if I click and hold, it places... No, it places wherever I point it, right. Depends how far away it is. I can just click and hold, but it doesn't actually change anything. DH much. The guy's completely blocked off now, that's okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So that's gonna be the wall, I think. It's gonna be high enough. Yeah, it's gonna be high enough. I'm also gonna add the little barricades on the side. I do want to make the wall bigger, though. So, again, this is gonna be our expansion. People are going inside? Who are going inside? Not be going inside, just stay outside. But we have a ton of food, so we don't have anything to worry about right now. Again, I want to make the gates really, really big. The wall's really, really big. Probably overkill big. Not the paid developer, just uh, a general phrase. Like this. I should actually maybe use some more. I've been using stone primarily. I do need to use some other items. Hold on, let's actually go take out the wood. I mean, this. Planks, we have, actually we have planks outside already. I guess, I guess, but I don't really like the looks of planks. They look too modern for me. Do they? That's something like. That's like horrible placement on your part, Twisted. Something like this. I don't like. I don't like it. 
And I'll use wood for the floors, I think. Maybe for the inside. So outside's gonna stay stone, because that's very sturdy. Also, wood is a lot quicker to remove, that's good to know. Wait, so I'm gonna just make a wall right now. Let's just make this go up. Uh, I do wanna chop the trees as well. Let's just do that quickly. Since we're here, we could probably send our miner man, our planter man to go here and do that. There we go. I wanted to remove some of these trees on my own, just to have a little bit more space. Again, we do need items in our inventory. Are we actually getting these? Are we putting them directly into our stockpile? We should, right? We should be doing that. Alright. I should not be using bricks for this, but that's okay. There we go. Much better. So it's gonna be it's gonna end up over here, I think. Let's make this go up. Like that, and I do completely blocked off now, my friend. That's okay. I do something like this. I'm gonna add a little bit of rat to us, I think, to our walls. This guy needs to go fog get fired. I'm sorry. You go be unemployed and sad. And I feel like we have enough archers for now. Uh, torch is not needed there. This the insides can stay empty for like here. And we're gonna probably build a tower on this edge once we expand this a bit more. But for now, I think this is more than good enough. Let's go down here. Let's actually make a turn. There we go. Again, this is like the outside of our base still. But now they can actually walk around here and put them in key locations. I could actually also like, just put them on. Would that work? Just put them on spikes on uh, little pillars. I want to try. I want to try that. Hold on. I want to try that. Let's just try getting a guy on a pillar here. So a lot of guys went from this way. It's gonna become from that way. So let's do. Let's do this. I want to see what happens if I just block him off. I wonder if he's gonna enter siege mode and consume more food. Just get him over here. Get the dude to come over here, and then we're gonna remove this thing. And the zombies won't be able to reach him, but he's gonna be able to kill anyone that comes his way, right? Kind of curious what's gonna happen with him if he's stuck up there. But again, these guys were stuck as well when there were no stairs, so they didn't care. Here we go, easy. I guess that's a really easy tactic to, to cheese because these guys never have to eat or go to bed or anything. They just stay there non-stop. So we have a, just a bunch of pillars <laughs> with archers. Like a little tower defense corridor for them. We want to kill everyone. All right, 5656. We have a lot of seeds. Actually, we have enough seeds to make more farms. We'll get to that soon enough. Don't you worry. It's gonna be our mine entrance. Okay, this wall is not needed anymore, right? We can just remove this bad boy. That'll take us ages to remove all these walls. That's why we have to plan ahead sometimes. Also want to have... Uh, oh, how are we going to enter here, though? Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. Maybe we do want to go with a different way of entering. This is the... it's over here, right? It's on that level. It's actually not that much lower than the main thing. It's actually... Just planks instead. Make it look like it's a little... Plank beam. Like that, just cover up this entire area, right? Oops, my bad. Something like that, right? That's gonna work. That looks okay. Of course, we have to still change the floor. I'm gonna take care of that later, but this actually works. We have this thing, and you go up here, and you can walk on the walls and defend. I like it. I can also extend the wall from the from the top of my barrier now, which is always good to see. And this wall's gonna go, of course. That's the plan. I should probably set up some boundaries. Oh god, don't fall down. Let's go inside. Just break it and repair it easily. It's very, very safe right now. A ton of food, that's always good to see. This guy's also gonna have to be extended a lot. But again. Should be okay. I do wanna have 
maybe a way to access the upper area from the inside, from the uh, walls without actually... I guess it's not that difficult to do so, right? It'll be fairly easy. So this is four tiles high, I think, right? Four tiles high to one, one tile in. Interesting. Only one tile inside. The old new wall is two tiles inside, right? Well, then again, this is very dangerous what I'm doing here, so I would not recommend this. Uh, and I actually leave this guy protected for now. I don't want to mess with anything. Let's build something from the inside this time. I don't want to be outside during the night. No one seems to be chopping these trees down, which I don't like very much. Yeah, but that's okay. Alright, so what do we want to do? Let's actually remove these walls. What do we want to do with this thing? That's the question. Well, we don't want to just have it open like this. Or the, maybe we want to have it open like that. It doesn't look half bad. Right? We can also extend by one more block. If needed. So let's just get more planks in here. Uh, we'll just do this, I guess. Make it bigger. And have this, this be like a little storage area. A little siege area. Where you can fight enemies. Have some windows in here so you can watch the zombies. You can actually place archers here. They might actually be able to get him. Actually, that's, a, that's an interesting idea. Can we do that? If we get archers here? I want to actually try that. So we have room in here, right? In these areas. And like a dude here. And a dude here. This is like a last line of defense. If everything goes wrong. Can they actually hit them from here? I'm not quite sure. I can't fire the arrow right into the other guy. Where do they fire the arrows from? Let's actually take a peek. Where do you fire your arrows from? There's no one here. Coming for you, alright. Where, where do you fire the arrows from? There's a lot of zombies here. A lot of zombies hanging around. Speak of zombies, I should probably eat something. Ooh, foo, 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 bread. Ah. Uh. Eat some bread, there we go. Bring it all back. There we go. This bridge is gonna become bigger over time. That is of course the plan. The moat has to go all around the castle, that's also the plan. I would want to have a little grassy bit next to the walls. But to do that we have to have a moat going actually everywhere. To make it look a bit better. Crops are growing, that's awesome. Where do you fire stuff from? If you have arson from the face, which is actually good. We have two quivers. Do we have more quivers? Did we not set like a large limit for quivers? Why are we not crafting those? It's planks. We have planks. Oh, we have five, but we only have two, right? No, we have six. Never mind. I'm just being silly. Let's do this. That look nice. Yes, there's no colonists left. I know, I know. Uh-oh, what happened? What have I done? Oh, I typed in chat. My mistake. I typed in TT. That's the secret code. Guys, it's a secret code, right? It's gonna be daytime now, everyone's gonna come up. It's gonna come up, everyone's gonna wake up, zombies are all gonna fall down dead on their faces. Dead on their feces. Oh god, don't get stuck here. I do want to build up some more farms, because uh, we have food, we have, what, what we need to expand is more food, more colonists. I want to have a ton of farms around here, that's going to be the plan. I also want to like make this, it says none, I want to make this into a 10 by 10 -er. But I do want to actually extend the moat and change the size of this bad boy. Where my logs at? Log temperate. Again. I do want to make this bridge. I'm gonna do it later. I'm gonna just leave a hole empty here. Because I want to make it a lot longer than it is right now. This is a very, very short bridge. It needs to be at least all the way here. So both of these farms are gonna go at one point. I might as well let them replant them. I don't mind that at all. Get more. I guess, but the problem is, I don't know if the grass regrows. I, don't, I haven't seen grass regrow anywhere. So I think once you take out the grass, it's gone for good. Which is not ideal. 
I want to get farms like in a good location. I want to have them very, very tightly uh, connected. I don't want to have a lot of space between them. That's the plan for the time being. And I want the moat to be bigger, of course, because we're going to have a bigger bridge. So these, both of these farms are going to go at one point. Um, might as well actually get all the grass from here. This is going to be long enough for a drawbridge like this. That looks okay. And the problem is it, it, the drawbridge is very, very wide. And it's just what if we could just only you could place metal? Why don't you place plaster? Why don't you place straw, maybe? Looks okay. Plaster, it looks very shiny. If you just place this on the outer layer, for example. Oh, it's so bright. Oh my god. And it glows in the dark. So much bloom here. We can turn it off in the options. I actually do like that. It adds a bit of a dynamic feedback to everything. Like that. We could also add that on the very outer side. That'd be better, but that's gonna make it even wider than before, which I don't really like. There we go. Super bright stuff. Again, I can turn off the bloom in the options menu. It's gonna be a bit better. Might have to do that because this is super bright. There we go, this is more or less it. Yeah, I might as well fill in these two holes. The form's gonna have to go at one point. This seems long enough, although I do want to have some kind of fancy design at the top. This is the middle, right? Two, three, this is the middle. I think it has to be the highest. Something like this, maybe? It's gonna look a bit weird. I feel, I don't know, it looks like it's a flippin' light. It's so bright, it's insanely, insanely, insanely bright. Not the biggest, not the biggest fan of that, I have to admit. But so we have these guys, we have four jobs remaining, that's perfectly fine. These guys are gonna have to go outside at one point. Actually, I think I'm gonna just ditch the idea of having it uh, asymmetrical. We're gonna just get the log. Nope, the plaster. We get that on the plaster. Get the grass. We have 102 grass, which is okay. I don't really need straw right now. Just get the grass back where it was before. I do want to ditch the farm, so my friend, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go in here and gonna move the area. You're unemployed now. Bye bye. Thing is, now we have to harvest all the seeds back. Do we get the seeds back? Hold on, we have 113. One, what? We don't get the seeds back, right? 158 seeds. Yeah, we don't get the seeds back. That's actually kind of annoying, so I just made a huge mistake. I thought that we'd get the seeds back or just replant them anywhere. Now it's just a nuisance. What if we just remove the blocks with low and the spear they do? Okay, so we're gonna do that instead. Because we do wanna replace these anyway. I'm just gonna replace the dirt right now to finish the gate. We go and it goes all the way here, right? Let's see how that looks. I think it's gonna look fairly, fairly nice. One more block here, one more block here. Okay, can go. That looks okay. That looks all right. Again, it might be better if we actually had it on the outside. But what we can actually do, we can do something like this. We can do. It's gonna be a bigger ditch. It's gonna be a bigger ditch. That's my decision. Let's just go all the way with the ditch right now. So all the way to here. And we'll do the same with the other farm in a second. So just have like it's gonna be hard because we don't have a proper chain block. I have to use this. Look a bit weird. What if we used plaster instead? Maybe I don't know. Remove this. Now I want to make it a bit more sharp. I go like this, 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 oh, this, this. Oh, but it'll be able to climb that. Right, that's actually a problem. Um, we can't do that. It's gonna be a climb. It's gonna be a staircase for him, basically. So we now I was gonna make a little 
like rope thing. A wannabe rope. Something like this. And then we just remove the bottom block. Oh, not my intention, but that's okay. Let me just remove these blocks. It actually doesn't look half bad. It actually looks kind of nifty. I like it. It would be better if it were a different block, but the problem is... Actually, it's not a problem, because they don't have a... Do they have... Can they pass over here? I don't think they can pass over there. We're trying to leave it up for a night. And see if they actually climb this. Actually, we're gonna do that, because I don't know if this is a valid passing option for them. If it's angled. I don't think it is. I think they have to move on a grid. And this will not do. We'll always just make it... Um, like one block lower, just add another block here. Just to block them all. How does that look? It looks a bit weird with the extra block, I think. Again, I wish we had more block options. There's not that many block options right now. We have basically planks, logs, blaster. Uh, I haven't tried adobe yet. Wheat, pickaxe. Yeah, not that many block options. Alright, uh, so we have a lot of uh, quivers available. We have... A lot of food. Let's actually get a few more peeps. Can we get three people easily? No, no, hold on. One, two, three. Awesome, let's get actually one more person because I do want to get myself a mint. That's one of the only buildings we don't have yet. Anyway, where is the mint? There we go. So we can say that we at least did something game progress wise in this episode. So we're gonna place it. We're doing nothing. Okay, you were just picking stuff up, I see. And we're gonna get you a station. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We can make you a station over here. It's not gonna do anything. Limit gold coin gold. Like 97. It's okay. And we also wanna do. There's the market. There's the mint. Workbench. Shop. Okay, we need five gold coins to build a shop. So once we have some coins, we'll actually use the mint to turn the ingots into coin. And we will use those coins to actually build a shop. And then we can buy flax seed seeds, because you go over here, because we have wheat farmers and flax farmers. You can use that seed, those seeds to make flax, to turn into oil, to actually make adobes. Which is the only block we haven't seen yet. That actually might look awesome. I don't know. We'll see. But I think we're making great progress here. I think this is going to look really, really nice. I do want to expand it a lot more than it is right now. So in the next episode, the plan is going to be to just lay out the basic walls. I don't want to do a square shape. I think I want to go for maybe like an L. L-shaped walls. Or some, some, something L-shaped-ish. The plan. So we will probably... Like, go over there and try to actually reach the lake, which is not that far away. So I'm gonna try and actually make it huge on the inside, because I do want to reach that lake over there. That's gonna be our plan. It might take us a bit, not be really tricky, but I think we can totally, totally do it no problem. Let's just quickly check if the zombies are actually climbing this thing. We can go up top, see what's going on. Oh, also, I can remove these uh, blocks. I don't need them. Alright, are you trying to climb this? They're not even getting close. My guys are doing a great job. I guess most of them are coming from that side. You know what would be really cool? If the zombies could actually climb on under dead zombies' bodies to get places. That would be actually kind of nifty. I would like that quite a bit. To be kind of horrifying, because the bodies pile up and they'll climb on top of your base, but it would make sense with the game, I feel. You'll have to be quite quite sensible alrighty I think I am going to actually just end this episode here if you guys enjoyed so leave a like leave a comment it helps out a great great deal more than you can even imagine but yeah once again thank you guys very much for watching my name has been Twisted from Hanabella Games now we'll see you next time